we get a hike from a crowd of sweaty kids and climb to the worst seats in the house. Thank goodness for pep rallies, because I sure am feeling peppy now. Ready? Okay. How fucky is your hand? when it's over, will you guys? Hey, look, what's that? Hey, who let that crater into my pep rally? Get out of here, crater. Get out of here right now. Sorry, Feely. This crater worm's here to stay. <laughs> hey, it's Zumpy. I didn't see him here, so I thought this was going to be boring. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Oh, you Zumpy Zuffaldino. Sorry, Vice Principal Feely, but as student body president, I order you to sit down. Crater Worm Spirit is busting out all over, and now there is no stopping it. Very well, Genevieve. The Luna Vista Crater Worms are on a rampage. Other schools beware. Last week's game against the Spark and Soft Feather Dactyls was nothing compared to the victory we'll have tonight against the Brea Belt Tar Hogs. And that's because we got spirit, yes we do. We got spirit, yes we do. We got spirit, how about you? service and all, I gotta move on to a new school. Next week's gonna be my last pep rally. Oh, man. Just joking. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I'm not joking. It's true. Oh, I can't believe it. Zoopy's leaving. Now this lame school is gonna be even lamer than usual. Perhaps we should change its name to Lamo Vista. My spirit is sad. Yeah, well, sad as we are for us, imagine how Zoopy must feel. He really had a maid here. Did you see the way he was goofing around with those cheerleaders? Did I ever? The guy's not a jock. He's not really cool. He's not even that good looking. But everybody loves him just because he's hilarious. I'm telling you, that Crater War mascot gig sure must be the life. Wait one moment, Edward. You're not a jock. You're not cool. And I suspect you're not all that good looking. Hey! All of which I point out because with Zoopy moving on, surely Luna Vista will need a new mascot. Yeah. How hard can that be anyway? Clowning around in a warm suit. And seeing as how I am the funniest of us guys. Hey, wait a minute. What do you mean you're the funniest of us guys? Oh, come on, Lloyd. Don't take it personal. It's just a fact. No, it's not. I'm just as funny as you are. Aren't I, guys? Er, um, well... <laughs> See? And I know for a fact that I make a way better crater worm than you. Look, I don't even know how they choose a new crater worm. Ha! <laughs> not so sure anymore, huh? Well, there's Zoopy right now. Let's ask him. Hey, Zoopy, I was wondering... Actually, I was wondering... I was wondering, since you're moving away, how are they going to pick another guy to be the new Crater Worm mascot? Well, guys, there is no official process. But traditionally, the existing Crater Worm gets to choose who's going to replace him. But, uh, you got to be... Me! <laughs> oh, Zoopy, you tickle my funny lobe! Well, I can be funny. Not as funny as me. Check it out, Zoopy. I can wiggle my ears. Huh? Huh? Pretty funny, huh? Uh... Forget that, man. Get a load of this. <laughs> Now that's hilarious! Uh, yeah, well, if you guys really want to be the next Crater Worms, I'm gonna be holding tryouts in the gym after school. I'm not necessarily advising it, but you can come if you want. Yes! Don't even bother coming, Lloyd. Get over yourself, Horton. You're going down in a landslide of Lloydarius laughter. <sighs> hey, Zoop, so you're holding auditions for Crater Worm mascot? Yeah. And those two clowns are trying out against each other? Yeah, only neither one of them's exactly hysterical. No. Well, supposing I told you otherwise. Supposing I told you those two were gonna be hilarious. And if I'm right, picking the next Crater Worm's gonna be the easiest thing you ever did. You don't say. Okay, then. Um, how about this one? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. No, uh, uh, Pulp Gourd. Pulp Gourd who? Orange, you glad I didn't say Pulp Gourd? Shoot, no, that's not the way it goes. Let me try it one more time. It's a real laugh riot, I guarantee. That's okay, I've heard enough. Next! Hey, Zoopy, get a load of this! Bok, 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 bok! I'm a fin bat on a planet with too much gravity! Bok, 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 bok! <laughs> get it? Yeah, okay, great, Eddie. And last one! Hey, Zoopy, I thought for your laughing enjoyment, I'd introduce you to my little friend, Anthony. Hey, Anthony, how's it going today? It's going great, Lloyd! But it'll be going even greater if you get picked to be the new Crater Worm. Oh, you could say that again, Anthony. If you say so. It's going great, Lloyd. But it'll be going even greater. All right. Woohoo! I think that'll be enough. Lloyd and Eddie, please come over here. Everybody else, thanks a heap for trying out. Thank good try, you are. Oh, I didn't get it. Well, guys, what can I say? Wow! 
didn't realize earlier just how funny you guys really are. But wow, you guys are really funny. Hey, all right. Cool, man. But uh, which one of us is funny? It's me, right? I'm the new creator one. It's got to be me. That's just the thing, guys. I can't decide. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you guys all week long to prove which one of you is really funny. You mean, like, have a competition to make you laugh even more? Oh, not me, my fine friends. As Crater One, the entire school will be counting on you for chuckles. So starting Monday, I want you to put on the old funny pants and show the kids what you're made of. I'll announce the winner at the next pep rally. Think you can handle that? You bet I can. Then I can, too. Then it's on. And may the wackiest worm win. <laughs> Gentlemen, today's the big day. The big day. The day we officially begin the great Looney Vista Funny Man Contest! I'm ready to go, Zoopy. Yeah, well, I'm readier to go. That's just what I like to hear. Now, I don't really hang around with you guys, so I've asked your friends here to observe your goofing and keep track of who's getting the bigger laughs. How are they supposed to tell that? If I may explain, Zoopy? Brino! At Zoopy's behest, I have developed a foolproof device for recording the reaction to your junior high hijinks. Behold! The Giggle Charm! With this, I shall be able to scientifically measure the laughter of your fellow students. For example, Kurt... What, Douglas? Gucci, Gucci, go! What's that supposed to mean? Yo, Zoopy, what's shaking? Sh shaking beats me. I don't see n n nothing sh shaking. <laughs> yeah. 4.6. There you go, fellas. Time for class. Good luck, and remember, a crate of worms always got to be ready with some pretty funny stuff. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm ready. And I've got some plenty funny stuff. Bot Swarp here. Ganglia. Here. Horton. Cuckoo! 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 It's any time! Uh, 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 here? Sit down, Horton. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Klingoid. Here. McNoggin. Here. Nebulon. Yes, ma'am, I'm here. And it's a miracle, too. I mean, boy, was that bus ride long. Yeah, you all know what I'm talking about. Seriously, what is it with bus drivers these days anyway? They hit every bump in every pothole, and they're driving through space. Uh, but seriously, bus drivers, they drive me crazy. Get it? Sit down, Nebulon, or you're gonna get it. Whoa, tough room. All right, you termites, look alive. Today we're talking about Jalali Ball. Jalali Ball is a game of confidence and a game of skill. It's a game with a ball. This ball right here, which you and your teammates will attempt to Jalali in a bracing display of fantastic courage and inspirational self-discipline. But before we get started, Jimmy, front and center. Y yes, sir. Tell me, boy, are Horton and Nebulon walking around behind me trying to be funny by mimicking everything I say? Y yes, sir. Do you think they are being funny? No, sir. Would you like a good laugh, Jimmy? Um, sure. Well, me too. Horton, Nebulon, 50 laps around the gym, now! Oh. Ha! Now that's funny, isn't it, Jimmy? Yes, sir. Ha, sir. Ha, ha. All right, my little cookies. In home economics today, we'll be baking some sweet and savory plasma squares. Oh, that does not sound just delicious. Well, actually, Mrs. Melonbaum, let me clear something up first. Plasma squares ain't square. Plasma squares rock! Plasma squares rock! Plasma squares rock! And if you don't cook them right, then baby, they're hard as a rock! Yeah! Plasma squares rock! Plasma squares rock! Plasma squares... Please stop that, Lloyd. It's hurting my ears. Was that song supposed to be funny? I think Lloyd's trying to make us sad. Why would you do that, Lloyd? You might want to speak with a counselor, Lloyd. <laughs> All right, class, to your mixing stations, and let's get cooking! Hey, hey, Mrs. Melonbaum, I'm with you on that, really. But first, Brittany here's got a little business to take care of. Huh? Huh? Wait! <laughs> Oh, man, Zoopy, I don't know what's going on. I've tried jokes, funny songs, hilarious impersonations. Yeah, Zoopy, Lloyd needs help. Nothing's working. How can he be funnier? Ugh. I wasn't saying anything to Zoopy about me. I was talking about you. Boy, this lack of laughter really shocks me. I mean, you both were so funny at tryouts. Yes, well, I'm afraid I have no readings whatsoever to report from the Giggletron. I heard someone call him jerks. Does that count? Not in this contest. I don't get it. You must have some advice to give to Eddie. Well, uh, I wouldn't want to tell you how to be funny, but maybe some guys just need to be a little edgier than others. What do you mean? You know, really put yourself out on a limb. Watch. Whoa. Hey there, girls. Let me help you out. Whoa, 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 I can't control the penis! Oh, here, buddy. I've been batted. Here, ladies. Don't worry. I've got another bowl for you, right? Whoa! <laughs> like Eddie Horton actually did something kind of funny for once. A 5.0 on the Giggletron. Most impressive. No, oh, you hilarious boys. <laughs> 
Well, hey, everybody, look at me. I ain't too many candy bars, and now I can't hardly walk down the hall. <laughs> Check out Nebulon. He's ginormous. Hey, looky here. An old piece of gum on the floor. I believe I will eat it. Oh, wow. Help. I'm too fat to get off. Learn, learn, Eddie. Lloyd's bumbling fat man routine has earned him a 5.5 on the Giggletron. Higher even than your bowl on the head act. Stuffing your clothes full of toilet paper. That's just stupid. But fine, if the people want stupid, then that's just what they're gonna get. Cause no one can be stupider than Eddie J. Horton. You know, guys, I never realized it, but being hilarious really works up an appetite. So does standing around thinking about kittens. I wonder what they're serving today. <laughs> That's right, kids. Step up for a helping of Zambrosia. Mmm, delicious. And it's fortified with vitamin Eddie. Great tag fest, a 6.0. Hey, how'd you get in there? Where are the lunch ladies? I'm not saying I paid him to take a break, but they're taking a break. Oh, they are, are they? Well, then, maybe I better do a little food serving of my own. Hey, good idea, Lloyd. Who wants Lloyd to serve him a big old helping of Eddie's surprise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not feeding them, Eddie. I'm feeding my shorts. There you go, shorty. How's that? <laughs> Some yummy gelatin dessert? Hmm, let's see. Oh, of course. No gelatin dessert is complete without whipped topping. Ah, uh, there you go, shorty. Is that all right? Thought I... <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Shorty ate too much. Shorty's feeling sick. Well, no. No, Shorty, no! Aw, oh, Shorty barf. Today in science, we will be discussing the rare and extremely dangerous flower from the genus Carnivora. I brought a sample into the classroom, but it's frightfully important. No matter what, do not go near it. Oh my word, you beastly thing, you! Put that student down this instant! All right, that stupid plan almost digested me, but it was worth it. I know I've got more laughs now. Well, let's see, you were tied, but after the last stunt, indeed, you've pulled ahead! Ah, look out! Hey, everybody! Is this the way to the dump? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know? I'm just a crummy piece of garbage! <laughs> Hey, all right, so I'm winning. I'm funny, right? Well, Eddie was ahead, but after your self-propelled anti-gravity garbage can stunt, it's a tie. A tie? Indeed. Isn't that amusing? I dare say this competition could go on forever. <laughs> hey, Zoopy. Oh, hey there, Lloyd. What's up? Zoopy, listen, I've kind of got a problem. <laughs> you sure do, man. You're covered in garbage. Yeah, about that. I did this hilarious garbage can trick. Everybody loved it, but every time I come up with some great prank, Eddie comes right back with something just as funny. Douglas says the way things are going, we might end up in a tie forever. Bummer. Yeah, so I was wondering, isn't there some way you could, you know, maybe help me out? Gee, Lloyd, I'm not sure what you mean. You know, give me a little tip on a stump that'll put me over the top? Well, I don't know. Oh, okay. Because I know you really are the funniest guy. But don't tell anybody I'm helping you. You got it, Zoopy. All right. Well, you know the mascot over at Brea Belt Middle School, don't you? Sure. It's the Brea Belt Tar Hog. Exactly. Now, wouldn't it be a real humdinger if you could capture that hog and bring it to the next pep rally? That would be a scream. But stealing their mascot, I don't know. Isn't that kind of risky? Oh, yeah, I guess. And that's all right. I, I understand if it's too big a prank for you to handle. I mean, so what if Eddie wins and rubs it in your face for the rest of your life? Whoa. Well, since you put it that way, I'll do it. Thanks, Zoopy. You're a real friend. Ah, don't mention it. Hey, Zoopy, say, pal, do you have a minute? You see, every time I come up with some great prank, Lloyd comes right back with something just as funny. Ah, tell me all about it, Eddie. Tell me all about it. Well, Douglas, here we are. Brea Belt Middle School. Um, yes, but I can't help wondering, are you quite certain this is a good idea? It's not a good idea, Douglas. It's a great idea. But stealing a school mascot, it seems like a rather risky operation. And should you have asked Kurt to help you instead? I suspect he's really much better at this kind of thing than I am. I couldn't find it. Besides, don't worry. All I need you to do is keep watch. I'll take care of the rest. <sighs> Excellent. The front gate is unlocked, just like Zoopy said it would be. But, but nothing, Douglas. This is going to be the biggest stunt in Luna Vista history. And just think of the look on Eddie face when I beat him. <laughs> One tar hog coming up. Haha, <laughs> 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 there she is, the beautiful Brea Belt tar hog. <laughs> right, it's sleeping. This is 
is going to be easier than I thought. Yes, Irm, how wonderfully fortuitous. But however are you going to capture it? Quite simple, Douglas. I brought a leash. Let me know if you see anyone coming, okay? All right, and be careful. Whoa! Lloyd! It's okay, Douglas, I'm fine. Remember, I'm the future Crater Worm. Someday soon I'll be falling down like this on purpose all the time. No! Look behind you! Oh, hey there, girl. I don't suppose you'd like to put this on? Wow! Do not try that at home. <laughs> now I know what you're all waiting for. Today is the day that I will answer the most important of questions. Who will wear the crown of funnydom and become the next Luna Vista Cradler? I'll tell you who. That guy is me! Me and my big old tongue! What's this, ladies and gentlemen? Why, it looks as the Lloyd Nebulon has captured none other than the Brea Belta! That's right, Luna Vista! I've got spirit! Yes, I do! Wait, 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 wait! Quiet, everyone! Quiet! Goodness gracious! What in the zwick is going on here? You can't kidnap another school's pet and bring it into my gymnasium! Oh, yes, I can! You, uh... You were talking to me, weren't you? Oh, oh, my heart. <laughs> my word. Can it be? It appears as though while Lloyd was swiping the Tahog from Brea Belt, Eddie Horton captured the spike and soft pedidactyl. Hey, you can't do that. Hey, you stole my idea. Stole your idea? You stole mine. Man, I always knew I was funnier than you, but I never suspected I had more principles. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, I can't believe you came out. Hey, uh, guys, there's something you should probably know about the Tahog and the Feathered It turns out that they're mortal enemies. They can't stand to be in the same room together. Wow. My fellow Luna Vistoids, it appears we have a new crater worm mascot. Having just earned the biggest laugh all week long, I'm proud to present the funniest person in your school, Miss Genevieve Hostella! <laughs> week when Zoopy announced his retirement I asked if I could be the next crater worm because deep down I'm a fun loving crack up. He said I'd have to come up with a big laugh to prove I deserved it. When I heard Horton and Nebulon were competing with each other it was like a dream come true. I hope you've enjoyed the ridiculous antics this week as much as I have. Thank you boys for proving that there's nothing funnier than watching two pathetic dopes who will do anything for a laugh. And I thank you. So it was a setup all along. That creep Soupy never thought we were funny. He was just pretending we had a chance because Genevieve asked him to. She even gave him the idea about us and the stupid mascots. And all because she knew we'd do anything for a laugh. Anything. No matter how much it stomped on our dignity. Yeah, or our best friend's feelings. I'm sorry about the whole thing, man. Me too, buddy. Me too. Wonderful. That's very touching. Now please, get mopping. We've got to get this place cleaned up by tomorrow. There's going to be a pep rally! Oh...